Salut à tous, my name is Marion Buricatu. I am a French artist and I lived here in the United States since 2001. This video is about art and how to impress your friends and family at the museum with three easy facts. So today I have a special guest and we're going to have a discussion about Edouard Manet and my special guest is my daughter Domitine. Hi. So we're going to jump right into it. Yes. Um, you've been talking to me a lot about Edouard Manet. Why was he so special? Well, merci for asking this wonderful question, Domiti. And um, he's so special because he, he was, in fact, the father of Impressionism. Mm. So here are the three facts that I'm going to talk to you today. Fact number one, he was a rebel in elegant clothes. Fact number two, he was a realist painter. And fact number three, he cleared the way for, for Impressionism. So here is a painting by Manet called The Repose, painted in 1870. And this painting is at the Rhode Island School of Design. Very close. Yes. So fact number one. Yes. Why was he a rebel in elegant clothes? Well, Manet was an elegant Parisian dandy who lived in the second half of the 19th century in Paris. And here you can see a picture of him. It was a very exciting time in Paris. Economic growth, mm. the urban culture replaced the traditional culture based on agriculture. Also, there was development of transportation, new railroad, technological innovation. Sounds like there's a lot of change in the air. Yes, and change is coming in the art world thanks to Manet. He changes, he challenged, excuse me, he challenged the academic art based on rules and method. He wanted feelings. He said, it is not enough to know your craft, you have to have feeling. Science is all very well, but for us, imagination is far more. That's very revolutionary. Yes. So was the fact that he was a realist painter also revolutionary for fact number two? Yes, because before Manet, paintings were about idealized divine men and women, like in this painting, The Birth of Venus by William Bouguereau. Oh yeah, that's a little fake. Yes, <laughs> it's not very realistic in no. fact. <laughs> yeah, so now look at this painting by Manet, Luncheon on the Grass, painted in 1863, and it's at the Orsay Museum in Paris. Well, the style is a bit different, but there's still a naked woman at a picnic. I'm not sure that's very realistic. <laughs> yes, well, so it's still not very realistic for us and our generation, but the nude woman looks much more realistic than in the previous painting, in fact. Oh. And that was considered an offense to the sensi. It was very provocative. It was a scandal. Wow, how dare he. Yeah. <laughs> So our last fact, he cleared the way for Impressionism. What does that mean? It means like he was like a bull in a China shop. Thanks to his defiance, he freed the next generation from all the stiff rules of the established academy. Mm. They would use a lot of new painting techniques. They would lighten their color palette. They were interested in innovation, experimentation and creativity. Wow. Yeah, so here are two pictures of the before and the after Manet. So look at this picture, Romance during the Decadence by Thomas Couture. And this painting is at the Orsay Museum and it was painted in 1847. Now, look at the after Manet painting. This one is called A Woman with a Parasol and this is by Claude Monet. And this painting is at the National Gallery of Art in Washington and it was painted in 1875. I can't believe they're only 28 years apart. It looks like the first one was painted during the Roman times. Yes. Wow, that is a very big change and I'll do to Manet. Yes, exactly. So here are the three facts. Easy to remember about how special was Edouard Manet. First, he was the father of the Impressionism, and here are the three facts. Fact number one, a rebel in elegant clothes. Fact number two, a realist painter. And fact number three, he cleared the way for Impressionism. Now, if you're like me and you want to impress your friends and family at the museum even more, or just, you know, have fun at your next family dinner, the next video is just for you because I have created seven trivia questions and my victim today will be Domiti. Also, if you want to learn more about Edouard Manet, there is a list of links that I have put uh, below in the box. You can just check them out. Nice chatting with you. Abonne-toi, which means subscribe to my channel. Have fun and see you at the next video.